Just a minute. I swear, son, it's getting colder out there by the minute. Hurry up, Dad. It's getting cold in here. You see any bad ones out there? Nope. As soon as it started getting cold, they pretty much stopped coming around. Thanks, son. You finished your comic? Yeah. Again. I wish I could get new comics. The ones I have are starting to get boring, because I read them so much. Come here. I think I might have something that could cheer you up. What is it? It's a present, son. I don't want to ruin it for you. Just sit down. But it's too early. You never let me open my presents early before. You said it would ruin Christmas. Nonsense. You've heard me before. I don't even know if this calendar is accurate anymore. It could be two days past Christmas for all I know. So you better open it. Okay, if you say so. It's heavy. I think you'll like it at least a little bit. I spotted it when I was out getting supplies last. Oh man, Game Boy? You got me games? And batteries too? I can actually play with this. Just keep in mind son, when those batteries run out, this thing isn't going to work. You need to try and conserve battery power whenever you can. Batteries aren't exactly easy to come by these days. I know dad. I won't leave it on when I'm not playing or anything. I promise. Thanks dad. I love you. I love you too son. I better put another log on the fire before it goes out. This'll do. So you think it's about time for us to start worrying about paying for all this stuff we've taken? I mean, it's been almost five months since this all started. Television's still not broadcasting. Got no radio signals. We haven't seen anyone live and come through here since that fella who gave us the police car. He sure was helpful with the guns and all too. Still, we haven't seen any official, no military people, nothing. How I save oh son? I haven't to steal all this stuff. Even though half the places in town were looted before they evacuated everyone, it still just doesn't feel right. Food's one thing. We've got no choice there. I mean, we don't really have any other option other than stealing from local grocery stores. Same as setting up here instead of staying in our place. Our house was so big, there was no way we could have secured it. Too many doors, way too many windows. And being there, I won't have been able to stop thinking about your mother. And what happened to her. And the things I've done since the world went to shit. And stealing stuff still gets to me. I guess that's just who I am. Always used to worry about the little stuff. I guess I just always figured everyone else worried enough about the big stuff that I'd focus my efforts somewhere else. Still, every time I'm digging in there, digging for food, look for a new toy for you or something else, I pray for a policeman, then at least I'd know we weren't the only... I'm sorry son, I know that's a horrible fault. I didn't mean to worry you. Huh? Merry Christmas, Dwayne.